All right, we'll inform them that their wolf is dead before moving on to Yennefer before she gets mad at us for dawdling. You who grant us love, yet hatred, and strength. Greetings. What may I help you with this time? Morkvarg, got a few more questions. I mean, it already happened. I'll come for my reward. But can you be sure that... Morkvarg's gone, for good. Guaranteed, or you'll get your coin back. I shall hold you to that, Witcher. Wow. You who grant us love, hatred, and... Alright, absolutely no follow-up on that. Interesting. Well... It automatically defaults me back to ugly baby, but we're actually gonna go to the last wish. So we're gonna follow. We're gonna want to follow up with Yennefer before we go anywhere else. Before Geralt Ger Ger and Yennefer parted after their adventure in Freya's garden, the sorceress asked him to meet her in Larvik. She made it clear this was a personal matter, but gave no further details. Well, let's go find her. Come here, Roach. How did you even get over there, Roach? What are you doing? Interest interestingly, this is a level 15 quest, but the next quest in the main story is level 19. Even though we get them at the same time. I wonder if this is a... I mean, it is listed as a secondary quest, so I guess it is not. Is it, I guess it is not mandatory. But it's probably... Ah, I guess it's just a secondary character quest. It sounds important because it's coming from Yennefer, but it's probably just like... The stuff we got from Rosh and Triss and all those other characters along the way. And she probably wants me to be urgent about it, because we might be... We might be in a later part of the story right now, where if I go for too long, I could easily trigger something that, that makes us not do this anymore. There's two quests, just right here. Let's investigate really quick on the way in. Can I have a word? I serve the goddess and her flock. What can I help you with? What's with the horseshoes? Those who wish to race in the hero's pursuits hang them there at a series of races hmm. can outsiders sign up or is this a closed event Freya sees no insiders no outsiders any man can pay her tribute by risking his life in the pursuits our races differ from those on the continent we are beholden to one rule alone first across the line wins Sometimes he's the swiftest, other times it is the one who knocks his opponents off their mounts. Explains the name. There an entry fee? Courage. If you do not lack it, hang a horseshoe. Winner get a reward of any kind? He covers himself in glory, basks in proof of his valor. Mm -hmm. Was hoping for something a little more tangible. To us, such things matter least. But yes, the winner receives something to remind him of his feet. At times it is a sword, at others a helmet or a shield. How about that? See, you can be practical if you want to. Don't lack courage. Time, though, that's another matter. Still might come back. Take care. You horse races, get it away from me. You, you're a watcher. I see it right. Yes, got work for me. If you're willing. Some manner of evil prowls about. Got us scared to venture out of the village. Any idea what kind of beast this is? Oh, you hear all sorts of things. The wenches clean the nets, blather about costches and manticores. But I reckon that's hogwash. We'd seek the counsel of Freya's priestesses, we would. But how can we when we can't get to the shrine? And nobody's gotten a glimpse of the beast? From a distance, even? Oh, they have, they have. Right close. Closer than boot and strap. Soon after, their blood spattered the underbrush. Near from the start, no ordinary man could handle the beast. But Svera insisted. Mustered a crew and... Only four came back. The rest massacred east of the village. So, will you help? Let's talk about my reward. 
You want to bargain? How would you count it? Tighten hands at the withers, or...? Hmm. By species. Drowner's less than a cockatrice. Aha! Uh-huh. But we've no notion what prowls the high road. What do you say you cut it down and then we'll talk? Mm-mm. We pre-agree a price. Define a bonus for unforeseen risks. Hey. So, how much... Yeah, no one bargains prices after you've already made your your uh, price. Ah, have it your way. Tis your neck on the line. I'll tend to the monster. Not your first, that's clear enough. Not like our lads. Heads full of fire, but not a morsel of thought between them. The four survivors, where'll I find them? Aim to talk to Sphere? Maybe it ain't a bad idea. They're sitting over there by that hut. All right, more stuff to follow up on then. We're generating a list of things to do. I'll probably spend a little bit, bit of time in Skellige just because I came all the way here. I put, and I put off coming here for so long. Leaving immediately just seems weird, but I want to meet up with uh, Yennefer before I do much else. Oops. That was awkward. Uh... In Heroes Pursuits for the Goddess's Glory. Let's read the note at least, because I just accidentally picked it up without even reading it. And that's just not how I do things. Normally. Until now, when I fuck up. Come on, books. Race for Mordwin's Freya's Glory. Looking to worship Freya and prove your courage at the same time? Join the annual Heroes' Pursuits. The priestess and our goddess herself will shower you in gold, with golden blessings. Let it be known that not everyone who takes part in our race will reach the finish line in one piece. So if you're a pregnant, if you've a pregnant, pregnant wife, unfinished business, or debts in your honor, bound to repay, uh, think twice before straddling your mount. Is that the one? I hope. I don't know. <laughs> Oh yeah, it looks like it's the right one. So it's it's just a note about a race. We're going from the village, Baron Hor. You best take that back. You defile sacred ground. The gods will never forgive you for this. Ye ain't welcome here, witch. Oh yeah. They're getting along great. All right. I'm glad you're behaving yourself, and you chose to put yourself in the place where no one would notice you and harass you for your deeds. Always did know how to win, friends. I was provoked. Mm hmm. Saw it happen. Wanted to talk to me about something? Amos Far Ipsis. A specialist on jinns. Heard of him? I found a tome he'd penned in the Emperor's library. Far Ipsis set off for Skellige one day and was never heard from again. I asked some of the local folk. Some here still remember him. They know what happened to him? The locals say they last saw his ship off the coast of Hindisfjall. Then a once in an eon storm broke. So he's probably fish food by now. Not necessarily. I must learn what became of him. Why? Do you know him? No. It's not the mage who interests me. It's his djinn. Why are you even interested? Djinns are dangerous sometimes, and malicious all the time. I remember. But the advantages outweigh the risks. If I can tame a djinn, I shall gain incredible power. And that could be useful to us one of these days. You sure this mage actually had a djinn? His books strongly suggest he did. He describes taming one, harnessing energy from its power. Storm wouldn't pose a threat if he'd had a djinn. He could just utter a wish. Perhaps he had none left, or something unexpected happened. All right, so what exactly do you expect me to do? You must help me find this gin. I've no gold to offer in reward, but I shall be ever so grateful. Since you put it that way, fine. I'll help you. Thank you. A boat awaits in the harbor. Come. All this convincing she's doing. I thought we were just the type that worked together. Bestiary entry added for gins. Oh, they started talking. We'll get back to that in a moment. Uh, Elementa? Yep. That's not what I thought they'd look like. 
Although for me, gins look like adorable little lizard-like fuzzy creatures, because I first learned this word from a golden sun. They're vulnerable to elementa oil and dimitrium bombs. The pitcher emitted a puff of glowing red smoke. The smoke pulsated, then gathered into an irregular sh sphere floating in front of the poet's head. The first longing, a tale fantastic in all ways. A djinn is a powerful air spirit, a condensation of the power of said element endowed with consciousness and character. The latter are usually nasty. According to legend, Jinns can grant even the most far-fetched wishes, though they do so begrudgingly. Unusually powerful mages can capture and tame these beings. A mage who succeeds in doing so can draw energy from such a spirit, using it to cast spells without having to summon the power from traditional sources. Only a handful have ever managed this feat, however. For jinns fight to avoid such a fate with stubborn determination. To imprison a jinn is to bend it to one's will. One was first to, one was first first to weaken it, and that's no easy task. That's like like Pokemon. <laughs> Fighting jinns is extraordinarily difficult. They can fling off spells in an, an instant that most accomplished human mages would never master with years of preparation. What's more, by manipulating the element of air, they can summon gales, powerful storms, even hurricanes. Luckily, as magic beings, they are vulnerable to silver, yet steel will do them no harm. Ready. I have. How could you possibly know I'd agree? I didn't. Decided to risk it. Well, problematic. She's, she's all about risks, though. That seems to be the way she goes. She just jumps headfirst into things. Just set, gets set on her goal at the cost of anything else. She violated at least two very way, sacred things for the Skelligers. Try to take the initiative. Would you even let me? It would depend on the situation. Dun dun dun. But she's violated at least two things sacred to the Skellig of people already in her pursuit of, uh, Siri. Being that forest and the, uh, the mask. Of or of Arobus, Arobus, or everyone always called it Ouroboros for me. The ship carrying the gin sank somewhere in this area. Not too precise as leads go. I'll cast a spell on our boat. We'll know if there are any wrecks on the seafloor below us. All right, let's get to work. Mind if I take the helm? <sighs> I got a choice. No. I feel like hunting for a wind spirit creature. Uh oh. Get in the boat. Okay. I feel like hunting for some sort of wind creature is probably problematic when you're in the middle of uh, the ocean. Geralt, how long must I wait? On a boat controlled by a sail. I feel like the wind spirit's gonna have power over us here. Not sure this gin thing's a good idea. We managed to seize one before. Do you remember? Of course. Dandelion almost lost his voice that time. <laughs> how lucky your exorcism saved it. It was poetic. Yeah, how was I supposed to know that incantation meant be gone and plow yourself? You should have studied foreign languages. Gonna keep bringing that up for the rest of my life? Of course. Your last wish effectively assured it. My wish was about us being together always, not about you mocking my every mistake. Careful what you wish for. And when your wish is granted, you must accept it with all attendant circumstances. Yeah. And as for your missteps, I don't like you see why I shouldn't laugh if they're amusing. They really do argue like a married couple, which they kind of are, based on the wish that binds them together. Here, on the bottom. It's too deep here. You can't dive that long. You underestimate me. On the contrary. After all, I asked you for help. I'll cast a spell. It will slow your heart for a time. You can stay submerged longer. Asad, I cried a rithorn. Ready. Careful down there. Uh, I don't like water. There better not be sharks. It's like my worst thing in video games is... Oh, shut it. Oh, I saw red stuff already. That's a fun sign. Oh, drowners, that's not too bad. I have solutions for them. 
A drowner friend. How's it going? Yeah, and you know I hate it when you read my mind. Strictly speaking, I'm not reading your mind, but using telepathy. Besides, you've nothing to hide, right? You wouldn't admit it if I did. Not the point. See anything interesting? A shipwreck in the cavern. I'll look inside. That's freaking me out. The way that that's recorded makes it feel like it's coming out of my head. It feels like it's inside my head. That's, ah. Uh, the way that that audio is done is freaky. Alright, what can I find down here? Using Witcher Sense? Ooh, crate. Maybe we'll find, like, Griffin gear or something along those lines. Or a runestone. Okay. Snapped masts, busted planks, and a whole swarm of drowners. Probably drawn by the corpses of drowned crew. Then made their nest here. There's also a Clan Drummond figurehead. Not the right ship. Come back up. Metal Gear. These voices. Alright. Let's get back up top. I can barely see anything in here. Let's see how quickly I can get back up. Go back to the surface where people sound like people again, because, ah. It's in my ears. I'm wearing headphones, so it's like really in my ears. They did, they did too good at making that sound like it's inside your head. It, so are we gonna obey the magic the magic video game number of three? Because it's so commonly we do three things and then you win in every video game. She's very precise. Say we find the gym. What do we do? Ask for a beautiful house and a palace? And the queen's crown? Are we still talking about the gym? Or have we moved on to a talking fish? Doesn't much matter. Both make wishes come true. What would yours be? You learn in due course. That reflection texture was freaking. Oh man. Let's change the camera. <laughs> the reflection was freaking out like crazy. That's not how that's supposed to look. There we go. It tries to render a reflection of the uh, boat in the background, but ew. Yeah, every direction I look in, it kind of looks here. horrible. Let's see if our gin's down there. In we go. Let's do more. Bi let's do more bickering. Howdy, y'all. Anyone trying to murder me down here? Where it's real dark. Kind of wish we were doing this during the day. Come to think of it. Instead of 2 at 15 a.m. That thing looks promising though. It's all glow it's all glowy looking. Could that be the gin? Found a wreck. It's been here a while. Woods rotted. Look around, but be careful. Look for something that might indicate it's the mage's ship. Got something. A Skelliger's buckler. Clan Hamai symbols. Donar's clan. Donar was a babe in swaddling clothes when this buckler landed here. Is that all we have to say about that one? Alright. Anything else noteworthy is our chest, maybe? So I'll also be happy to find those while I'm not in the process of drowning for being down here. Some basic crafting resources, perhaps. There's a chest. Fiber and a runestone. Oh, there's something. Beautiful craftsmanship. What do you have? A war horn. Bearing Clan Hamai symbols. Longship belonged to Clan Dimon. Yen. Doubt any of these boats were the mages. These are old sunken longships. Come back then. We must search elsewhere. We're totally gonna do the rule of threes, aren't we? I'm calling it. Video games, why? <laughs> you follow so much routine. Alright, Yen. Nope, wrong button. Mistakes, you know, mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Alright. And off we go. You're getting better at this. Go even quicker if you helped me down there. I prefer to observe matters from up here, most definitely. Yeah, like when we were looking for the golden dragon and the avalanche swept us off the trail. Me clinging to the remains of a bridge for dear life. You gripping my waist, admiring the view. Remember? chasm below us was breathtaking. Rustling trees, a lazily flowing stream. I remember. Though I found myself admiring what I had right in front of me. Damn it, I was gonna make the joke about it. Admiring the view, being talking about the fact that she was on his waist. <laughs> oh well. 
Sometimes games are cl well, most times games are cleverer than the people playing them. Something strange about those rocks. And there's something on the bottom. Let's we'll see what it is. Or at least this game's generally cl cleverer than the person playing it. Yes, that includes you. Even you. Yes, even you. All of you. Alright, well this is a huge area to explore. I can't even see the edges of the circle. Oh god, how far down am I going? See something? Something doesn't do it justice. A huge crater, as if a meteorite landed here. I must see it. Diving in after all? No, I shall cast another spell. To see through your eyes. Now relax. I see Falcher Badem Ein Eichter Ilivaid. Can you also improve the contrast and brightness for me? Meteorite crater. What is it then? The effect of teleportation. A powerful force cut out a fragment of the seabed, rocks, and everything lying within the teleportation zone. Always claimed portals were dangerous. I believe we're on the right track. Look for anything that might contain a djinn. Fine, but get out of my eyes. Too cramped in here for us both. I see Falcher Badem Ein Eichter Ilivaid. We have sirens to deal with. There we go. I can't hit this one, apparently. Nope, there we go. Yeah, don't want to deal with those. Excuse me. Well, we seem to have found what we're going for. Just need to find stuff I can interact with. A little bit of leather. Ooh, what's that? No gin here, but there's something you ought to like. What? Half a seal. That'll do. Come back up. But there's a chest. With just a runestone, I guess. Alright. Up we go. I am very far down. I should probably be running into problems right now considering like the pressure on my head for being underwater. Unless pressure is also included in this in this uh, spell on top of air. Oh look, it's floating to the surface faster than I can. How's that happening? Okay. Come on. I can't even tell if I'm getting closer. <laughs> I can kind of see the texture of the water. We're so far down you can't even tell how far down you are anymore. That's a that's a, that's a real thing that happens is when you when you are when you're diving relatively deeply, you totally hit a point where at some point you like can't even quite tell how deep you are anymore and you lose all as all sense of perspective for the scale of your environment. It's actually really scary. Only found half. Can you do anything with this? I can use it to locate the other half, to within a dozen yards. And once we find that, we should find the djinn. Exactly. Ready? I'll take us there on the count of three. Oh, no, not another portal. Stop whining. One, two... It's like when they give you an injection and they lie about how long it's going to be until you, they start doing it. <laughs> Sneaky doctors. Three. Said you were gonna go on three. I did. Look, we must search the area. Yen, not so fast. Gotta tell me what this is about first. Why do you want this, Jin? But you already know. A Jin's power is priceless to a mage. Did we time travel? It's daytime now. It did say sometime later. I just didn't realize that portals could also time travel. That I know, but I also want to know how you plan to use it. Wouldn't go to these lengths if it wasn't something important. You're right. It's important. Even very important. <sighs> how long has this been going on, Geralt? This thing between us. Fifteen, twenty years? We repeatedly split up, then return to one another. Something draws us to each other, but I can never be certain if it's a true feeling or merely a bit of mischief by a djinn. So that's it. This is about my last wish? You asked that djinn to bind us together forever. I want to ask this one to take that wish back. I get it. You want to know what'll happen if magic no longer binds us. I want to know if when the djinn's magic is gone, if we've any magic left of our own. Hmm. 
wondered that myself many times. You see? We're just a step away from learning the truth. Come, let's search the ship. Makes sense. At some point, you want to know if your relationship's real or not. Seems Amos was quite the eccentric, asking the Jin to lift half his ship to a mountaintop. He didn't necessarily. Jins are inherently mischievous. This one might have granted his wish and perverted it in doing so. In that case, I'd appreciate it if you didn't wish I'd disappear from your life. I've yet to decide how to word it. Is that? There's like a weird black hole down there. Like it's trying to render the opening of a cave, but it's also. Somehow overlapping the fog layer. Let's not dwell on it. We should that's, explore the ship. That's a pretty goddamn cool visual, by the way. Half of a, a ship just sort of sliced apart and just floating. I mean, just sort of like stuck on top of a huge snowy mountain. That's neato. Probably looks pretty cool from the inside, too. Yep, that's just. This is where my ship ends, like most ships do. Good ship design. Yeah. Not much left of that. Ooh, chess. Interesting. Cavalry saddle. Mastercrafted silver sword. Enchanted thunderbolt. Thread. A little underwhelming in, in, in a... Compared to the previous one. Oh, that looks important. I wonder what this means. It means they like to get hammered on this ship. Oh, you have nothing else to say about that. Okay. Uh, just a few items in general, nothing super noteworthy. Mystery of mysteries, Agnes of Glanville. Hello? Boots. Nice shoes. Uh-oh. Looks like the impact with the mountain was so powerful it popped the wearer right out of them. It looks like they got scra- Ew, it looks like they're under that. I kinda don't wanna see it. Wonder what this means. Just gonna keep saying that? Wonder what this means. You used to be so informative and observant, Geralt, and now you're just like, I wonder what this is. Is your is your input? Elemental Empires by Jean Batista. At least you can read still. Nothing here. Hmm. Nothing interesting here. Ah! Oh, awkward. All right, so what's under here? Blood. Someone was dragged across the deck. War left this mark when the ship suddenly tipped to one side. I'm pretty sure they're under this, like, bookshelf-looking thing. Gross. Yen, I think you should see this. What do you have? A dead jester? It's Amos. Looks exactly like the etching in the book. Except his head was intact there. A oh, cool, good sign. Think the djinn did this to him? No, it wouldn't attack its master. This looks rather like an unfortunate accident. When the storm broke, Amos must have uttered a wish like, take us away anywhere, to a mountaintop even. And the djinn granted the wish literally. They had a hard landing. Amos was thrown off his feet and against the wall. The bookcase did the rest. Always knew too much studying could kill you. Ah, his book smarts broke his brain, quite literally. If he died while being teleported, Seal might still be on him. Behold. Bravo! Come to the deck, I've an idea. Yeah, this is gonna end well. Let's just play with more perverted magic. Anything for- anything on this guy? Cold's preserved the corpse. Hmm. Died from head trauma. Bookcase cracked his skull. Must have been a hard landing atop this mountain. Can't even imagine. I mean, I don't think that a ship lies easily in this situation. Anything on the top? Step back a bit. What are you going to do? Summon and tame the djinn. It's not likely to be happy. Stand at the ready. Tame djinn. Rift Kaishta and Gaia. Kaishta et Disclare. Devered me castle. Well, ah, 
Ow. I forgot to put on elemental oil. Shit. And since he just shot me in the face, I guess that happened already. I should have been more ready for this. Let's see. So many oils and things. I'm sure I'm sure we'll be fine. What was he? He was weak against oil and bombs. A Demetrium bomb, specifically. Is that equipped right now? We'll see. Demetrium bomb is equipped. This guy's being... Blocks magic monster's abilities. Okay, cool. Let's do Quen real quick. Ow. Stop messing up my Quen. My Quen Shui. Bombs. How's that working for you, buddy? Ow. Okay, now you're just being rude, sir. Where's that poison coming from? Ow, Jesus. That flurry of blows is no joke. Let's see. Let's try to regenerate a little bit. Hey, Ginny, Ginny, Ginny. Yeah, there we go. Just give me a little bit more power. I just gotta recharge my batteries. Just wow, he has bad accuracy. All right, cool. Come back here. Oh, stop teleporting. There's my bomb. Just hang out in my cloud for a while while I ruin you. Ow, shit. Oh, I'm in the bubble too, so I can't cast spells, huh? Is that what's going on there? Ow, dick. Yeah, there we go. I can bubble again. So, doing the Demetrium bumps also blocks my magic, which is problematic if I'm, try if I'm trying to recover some. Come on. Just a few more stray sparks to recover a bit. I guess I can just do a, a swallow also. That'll recover me a bit. Ow, rude. Not mostly using a shield, just to let my swallow finish regenerating me. There we go. I arrived to Metrium, so I'm just gonna have to wail away on this guy. Ow. I'm stuck. Problematic for me. Wow, I, I crit him. Apparently, I was, does that mean I was behind him? Whatever that means. This cloud. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna say he's a particularly hard encounter, but he's cool looking. So that's cool. He's also pretty dead now. Oop. Master died before uttering his last wish. I cannot capture you. We can struggle like this for eternity, or I can release you if you do one thing for me. <sighs> do you see the spell that binds us? <sighs> Only a djinn can remove another djinn's spell. Remove this one, and you'll be free. <sighs> over. Yes. It's all over. Maybe we should sit. You look a bit dazed. I'm not, but we can sit. We've improved. Last time we tamed a djinn, we destroyed half of Rind. Yes, we make a good team. Thank you for coming, Geralt. I'd have had a much harder time of it on my own. Not sure I'd have done it if I'd known what this was about from the start. Then we'd never have learned the truth. Whether anything would change after the djinn removed the spell. Has it? Has anything changed? Hmm. I expected... I don't know what I expected, actually. A bit of vertigo, perhaps. 
I thought you'd become a stranger to me, that I'd look at you and not feel a thing. But it's not like that at all. Nothing's changed. I totally misread that last prompt. I thought it was set, I thought it, I was, thought I was re doing an option where it's like if I'd known what this was from the, from the start, I would have volunteered, and then it was refused. I read that wrong. Whoops. Jin might have cheated us after all. Why? Because I don't feel that anything's changed either. I love you, Yen. And I love you. was that? It can't be all sweetness and light. Strange. Done that so many times. But it felt like our first kiss to me. It was in a way. Besides, once you say I love you, a kiss has to taste differently. Maybe we ought to test a few other things. Amos's cabin looked cozy. Not so fast, Geralt. We'll have plenty of time to visit cozy cabins later. But I doubt the world will end if we sit here a while. <sighs> My, it's lovely. Mm -hmm. Think the spirits of Skellige favor us. 